as we as we close up this, I mean, I, if you have any particular message that you're known for, any 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 message that you know, you could look into the camera and you could tell these people that they want this. I mean, there's people who are looking at this um, program that n aren't involved in our profession and are looking just to try and see is this for real. Um, and then there's people who are in at all levels of success, from no success to massive success that are watching. Um, what would you have to say to them? And if you you know if you could think of anything off the top of your head, um, say it to them. Well, I, I tend to recap everything I've already said, but the, what comes to mind is um, I, I think I've had a fair amount of success in people listening to me because of where I came from. When I got introduced to network marketing, I literally did cut chickens for a living. Um, I wore a steel mesh glove on this hand, and those chickens <coughs> went by me, hanging by their feet, 38 a minute. 38 BPMs, that's how you live in the chicken world, that's birds per minute. Mm. And you know, I just cut them up all day long. I, I have, don't have one hour of college education. I barely got out of high school with a D minus average. I'm not stupid, I just, you know, that whole world of education just, just didn't appeal to me. And I always wanted to be successful. I, you know, I wanted to have nice cars, nice homes. I wanted to have all of that, but I didn't believe any of that was gonna happen for me because I didn't have an education and I grew up in a paradigm of if you want to be successful your parents either need to give you something to make you successful a business or, or something or you need to get really good grades you need to get in a really good college a lot of my friends went to law school in Stanford and my dad went to Stanford my mom went to Mills College I came from the education paradigm but I flunked out of it mm. so my belief about my future flunking out of that paradigm was it wasn't going to happen for me. I was just going to get by, and I was just getting by, cutting chickens for a living. And for me to have the extraordinary life path that I've had the last 30 years, coming from that background, uh, you know, I, I just look at people that are out there. I know that people are struggling, and some people have, you know, greater challenges that I ha than I have. Uh, but I also know there's most of the listening audience they have, you have a college education. You have credibility with your <laughs> network, with your friends and your family. You have credit cards, credit to work the business with. You have cash flow, you have a job, you have a nice home, you have a decent car. I didn't have any of that stuff. I didn't have anything. And if I can do what I did, coming from where I came from, then I know no matter what challenges people have out there, you can make it too. And so my message is, for, for those people. Not a message of hope, because I think that has an air of resignation around it, but a, a message of belief. You can do this if you'll study it and master it. But my real message is to the ones, you have some success already. You have an education, you have self-esteem, you have some net worth, you have some income. You have a platform to take something like this and actually <coughs> what you and I have done in the industry look silly. Mm. One of the things that I think uh, is going to come to our industry is where people with substance and success come to our industry as distributors and they look at the model and they say, okay, I get it. All I really need to do is get three, two or three or four or five superstars and build from them and people are gonna invest mm -hmm. 100, 200, $300,000 of their own money in getting those superstars because they're going to figure out how much money it's going to make them to have them and that's a paradigm that hasn't come mm -hmm. you know what's still here is oh don't make me invest five hundred dollars or mm -hmm. don't make me go to a meeting or what's going to happen in the next five to ten years are people going to bring as distributors not company not corporate distributors they're going to bring a mass of assets and investment into our system to get their frontline superstars and build it from there, mm. that's coming. And those of you that have some success already in life, you need to really study the system and look, look at what's possible for you because you can leverage that uh, in, in much greater quantities than any of us have that have been working this the last 10, 20, or 30 years. The upside is uh, it's enormous. It's, it's very exciting. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. I know uh, you got a lot of you got an event today and yeah. different things going on. Um, I'm going to link up. 
people can just go to what? Where, where do they go to? Uh, they can go to Mach2.org or they can just go to Richard Brook, Brook with an E dot com. Okay, and I'll put that, I'll link that up on the on the program. Uh, if you want to get your hands on uh, some of the materials he's talked about, he's uh, really an, uh, an unbelievable ambassador to the space, and I think hope you've gotten value out of this interview. I know I, I have. Um, here's what I recommend that you do. If you haven't yet gone over to Facebook to the Network Marketing Pro uh, fan page, there's a lot of articles, information uh, on there. Make sure that you become part of that community. And uh, if you haven't followed me on Twitter yet, it's uh, twitter.com forward slash Eric Worry. Hope you come over there and we'll kind of build a community over there too. Uh, but I, I want to close as I do always is my hope for you is that you, be, you decide to become a network marketing professional, that you decide to go pro. If you do, you can be the change. We can be the change that our great profession is looking for. So, um, again, here from Dallas, Texas, with my friend Richard Brooke. Thanks, everybody. Eric. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye.